Good morning, Liberty North. I'm Anna Quint. And I'm Kaylee Harper, and happy Monday. Your, Your KNET, KNET News starts now. Liberty North's coat drive is going on right now, so make sure you donate if you have any old coats. If you are struggling in your classes and need some extra help, A-plus tutors are available in the cafeteria during your flex hour. Seniors, if you want a different name listed on your diploma other than what's listed in Power School, please email Mrs. Stark before the end of the semester. Sophomores and juniors, if you are interested in an intern internship next year, sign up with NCAPS through the link in your newsletter for a showcase on December 6th at the Pleasant Valley Church. There's wrestling and basketball tryouts going on this week. Jack and Chase have more on with your North Nation Sports Report. Welcome back to your North Nation Sports Report. I'm Jack. And I'm Chase. Saturday morning, men's soccer playing the first round of Day 6, shutting out Oak Park, winning 3-0. Ozana Uzerbaja scored twice, while Ty Haas scored once. Good job, guys. We have Cameron on the couch with senior soccer player Jack Watson. Hey, Eagles. I'm Cameron, and I'm here with senior men's soccer player Jack Watson. So they won conference against Oak Park on Saturday and are going into districts off of a win. So how's the team energy after um, winning conference for the first time in seven years? Obviously, it's really high, and we hope to do it. We hope to win districts, do it again, and then make history after that. You guys have already had a pretty big impact on that. So, how have you guys been preparing in practice for this postseason? Uh, we've all been going out to lunch together, building up our team chemistry, practicing on the turf, watching film, and all that. Team chemistry will definitely come off on the field. So, you guys have a new opponent. So, Park Hill is a new team you guys haven't played yet this year. So, how do you guys think you will perform? I mean, they're really good, but they lost to Park Hill South, and we've beat them, so that gives us hope. Awesome. So thanks for coming in, Jack. Good luck tomorrow. Thanks, guys. They take on the number two ranked Park Hill Trojans tomorrow night at 7. The winner of that advances to the district finals against the winner of Liberty and Park Hill South. Volleyball unfortunately wrapped up their season Saturday after a tough 3-1 loss to Lee Summit West in the state quarterfinals. The Eagles left the regular season as the undefeated Suburban Conference Gold Division champions for the fourth consecutive time, as well as picking up their fourth consecutive district title. Congrats on another great season, ladies. Cross Country also ran in district Saturday morning. The top four teams and 30 qualifiers qualify for the state meet in Columbia next Saturday. The boys' team towed the line first and put three boys in the top ten, leading the team to a third-place finish and the fourth time in a row that the team has qualified for state. The girls laid it all on the line going into it as 40-point underdogs. When the, while the girls took fifth as a team, they drastically overperformed, barely missing qualifying by only 18 points. The girls did have three individual qualifiers to state to represent the Eagles, congrats to Jalen, Marissa, and Allie, as well as the guys' team for qualifying. They will represent the Eagles next week at state. Swim swam this weekend and placed second in the Gold Conference Championship. The 200-yard medley relay took second with a one minute and 42 seconds. In the individual events, Connor Jensen took second in the 200 free. Preston Zuber took first in the 200 IM, while Seth Augustine took third. Preston took second in the 100 fly. Seth took first in the 100 breaststroke. And Noah Warner took third. This 200 free relay took fourth, swimming a one minute and 43 seconds. And North wrapped up the day taking second in the 400 free relay with a three minute and 49 second swim. Congrats, guys, and good luck at state. Football had a bye week last week, and Blue Springs beat Truman 55-13. Liberty North will face off against Blue Springs in the district semifinals at home this Friday at 7. Last time North faced off against Blue Springs, they won 40-0 earlier this season. The Eagles are currently on a seven-game winning streak against Blue Springs, dating back all the way to 2018. We will see you tomorrow with all your sports updates. I'm Jack. And I'm Chase. War Eagle. Good luck to everybody who's trying out. You know, I heard there's a really fun ha Halloween activity going on tomorrow. Amy and Brooke have more about it. What's up, North Nation? I'm Amy Gates, and I'm here with Brooke Hayes. Brooke, I heard there's a scavenger hunt going on at North tomorrow. Can you tell me more about it? 
Yeah, so Kindness Cup is going to be hosting a scavenger hunt. Um, just some details about it. There will be little pumpkin posters hidden around Liberty North. All you have to do is find the poster, and then it'll say, return to room 305 to receive your prize. And that's all you have to do. Come return it to Ms. Higgs, and she will give you your prize. Mm -hmm. And is this just for people in Kindness Club, or can the whole school do it? No, the whole school is able to participate. We wanted to make sure we could get all of Liberty North in the Halloween spirit. All right, well, that sounds awesome, and good luck to everyone who does the scavenger hunt tomorrow. Thank you, Amy and Brooke. That sounds so fun. Tomorrow is Halloween. I think that we're just going to hang out candy and watch movies. You know, I can't wait to see everyone's costumes for tomorrow. Make sure you choose a warm costume, because I heard it's going to be pretty cold outside. Let's go check out the weather for trick-or-treating. I'm Blake with your Halloween week weather. Monday's high is a cold 42 degrees with a low of 28. It feels like it's 30 degrees outside. On Halloween, the high is 39 with a low of 22. If you're going to be out and about on Halloween or taking out a, a family member trick-or-treating or handing out candy, you'll need to dress warm with the, snow, with the snow yesterday. We can expect winter weather to be coming into town soon. This is Blake with your Halloween weather. Thanks, Blake. Make sure everyone is staying warm if you're going out tomorrow. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. We hope you have a great rest of your day, and until Halloween, we will catch you on the north side. side.